Do you see these little parts bins? They're awesome. They're made of flexible plastic that don't break. But do you see these cases that they come in? Well, they suck. They're absolutely terrible. So let's fix that. I start by ripping down some three quarter inch pine plywood. Why pine, you ask? Well, because it's cheap and plywood costs are ridiculously high right now. After I get everything ripped down, I use a setup block on my table saw to set the height of one single kerf, full kerf dado blade and begin cutting some slots into the piece of plywood. As each slot is cut, I move the fence over slightly and cut more slots. And I do this multiple times while flipping the board over to get slots on both sides of the plywood. It will all make sense in due time. After the slots are made, I raise the blade completely and begin cutting this plywood into strips. Now the width of these strips are the same as the length of those little flimsy uh, flexible plastic parts trays. After the strips are cut, I rip down this quarter inch hardboard material to be the same width as the width of the flexible flimsy parts trays plus the width on each side of those grooves that I cut into the three quarter inch plywood. Basically what I'm trying to say is this hardboard will be the shelves that my part bins are stored on. After I get the hardboard ripped down into strips, I begin cutting them to length. These are going to be the same length as the length of those parts bins trays. After all the pieces are cut and dadoed and to the correct size, I begin assembly. I do not glue the hardboard pieces into the plywood pieces. Um, there will be some glue up later on, but for now, these are just all in place. Number one, I don't think it needs it. Number two, I had a total of 160 trays in this build, and that is way too much work to apply glue to every single one of those joints. After everything is dry fit, I apply glue, this time, to the edges of those plywood strips. This will house a banding piece, if you will, the top and or bottom uh, piece of this build. After the glue is applied, I put my hardwood cap piece in place and secure it into place with 18 gauge brad nails. As a rational human would presume, I get one side done, flip it over, and put the other side cap on. After the bottom and top caps are on, I get the measurements and I cut a piece of plywood that will go on the back of this assembly. I apply some glue and I'm gonna use 18 gauge brad nails for this as well to secure it into place. As you can probably see, I did not cut the plywood piece to the exact dimension. That's why it's short on the ends. However, I really don't care because it's not going to be seen. I then mill down some solid wood that will become edge banding. And in my case, I decided to use dark walnut. So I start at the joiner to get one face of the material flat, and then I get the edges flat, and then I go to the table saw and begin ripping down roughly one eighth of an inch pieces that will become the edge banding on this project. I then cut the edge banding to the correct length that I need for all of the pieces of this project using my crosscut sled at the table saw. Next, I begin installing the edge banding onto the exposed plywood edges of the project and I install the edge banding with 23 gauge pin nails. You may be asking yourself, well, why do you need edge banding on a parts organizer bin that is shop furniture? And the reason is because I am bougie, I think, or something like that. 
After all of the edge banding is installed, I remove them plastic bins from the horrible cases that they come in and I begin installing those bins into my parts organizer build. And this takes quite some time because once again, there are 160 of them. But I get them into place where they should be and I begin filling them up with all of my current hardware, you know, small parts, nuts, washers, screws, nails, etc., of all different sizes and shapes and materials. And the final product looks like this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.